on the Salt Creek in Elk Grove Village, Illinois, fishing in Kevin's backyard. He decided to take me on a guided carp, carp adventure here, and he has a funny little secret way of doing it. He fishes with bread on a plane hook, and he just drifts it downstream, and hopefully the fish will then suck it up, and the battle is on. Got him. Baby. It's a baby. It's a small guy. The thing though is the water's cold though. There you go. Jump? <laughs> the soft creek. The fishing here with Kevin Nicola. The fishing headquarters back time. First we were trying for walleye, but due to the brightness out here. Oh, he's a nice one. I don't know what you're saying, baby. <laughs> but no, we were the first tried walleyes. We couldn't buy them because it's so bright out. So we decided to come out for carp. Here, right in Kevin's back. Oh, this is at least a five-ton pounder. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small guy, man. I don't know. I snagged him. Did you? Yeah. Speak I don't care, though. Snagging the fish. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. They might have tangled around him. Yeah, that's true. How do we want to land him? Um, you want me to take the rod? You can go walk over there? Your best bet is to get your finger in its gills. Yeah. Don't try to grab by tail. You'll never pick that thing up. This is fun. You ain't seen nothing yet. I know, this is like a two man. Oh, that is a bigger guy, look. He's just hugging bottom. He's wrapped around. Dad, when you set that hook, he uh, did a number on him. First fish of 2010. Open water. Oh! oh! That was fun though. Make a fish porno. Carp. Anyways, we missed um, my last fish. I think I overplayed him, so that's why we missed. So that's our setup. Hooking some bread Hook folded. And bread folded. That's how we do it. We're just letting it float on the surface, and once you see the fish slurp it up, it's game time. Except our little friends down the creek don't like us too much right now. No. Not at all. And we're here fishing on the first week of March, so water's still chilly and like, like around 40 degrees. So. I don't know if there's anything there, but give it a try. Yeah. There were a couple fish over there too before those ducks moved in. Now what Kevin is doing. He has his bale set open, and he's just running the line through, just to keep that bread floating. And speaking of which, have you, have you ever caught a duck? I did catch a duck. We might catch one. <laughs> we might catch here. one here, yeah. That'd be a nice catch. Now that's supper on the table. Yep. They're moving down. Good. I need to get my line out into the middle so I can get my... Red tape and away. spattered one. Can't talk loud. Just because we there's a good chance we can spook them. Prize is roughly 30 feet in front of us and it's a big one.
I got that one. Yeah, it's shallow here. It'll be easy to land. My drag is great. Fucking Marlin. Is that a tuna? A <laughs> tuna? When did they put tuna in the creek? Nice. Yeah, take him in here, Cheryl. Oh, yeah, he's a nice size one. That's good. Cause we just messed up, but anyways, we got maybe another two hours left of light. It's probably close to 4 p.m. right now. We have successfully caught and landed one fish. I've missed two or three of them, but we ha we've seen fish, so that's all that matters. So I'm gonna catch them now. He's about a good six feet away right there. Six feet from the fish. In front? You're, you're to the left of those swirls right there. Yeah. He's about two feet away from a hit. It's coming. I'd stop uh, laying out line. Stop? Yeah, you got a lot out there. Tighten He's going to get a hit in about ten seconds you here. I think so. I think so. Fishing for some uh, common carp here. Bait's starting to get sucked out in the current. Look at him look, man. He's got a fish on. I don't have one on. Yes, you do. Right now? Yes, you do. Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you, man. Reel in the slack. Set the hook. Wait, wait, wait. Don't do anything. Oh, you don't have anything on. 